What if the future of warfare isn't fought with soldiers on the ground, but with swarms of drones in the sky, piloted by over a million trained operators? Russia has been loudly talking about peace in Ukraine, emphasizing ceasefires and diplomatic resolutions. But beneath this facade, a different, much darker reality is unfolding. While Moscow preaches diplomacy, their factories and training grounds are buzzing with activity, ramping up drone production and operator training on an unprecedented scale. So, what's really going on behind Russia's peace rhetoric? Are they preparing for peace or for a whole new kind of war? Let's dive in. A recent investigation presented in Kiev paints a very different picture of the future reality of the Russian-Ukraine war. Carried out by a coalition of technical experts and human rights organizations, the study looked closely at what Russian state structures are doing in the occupied territories. What they found should be alarming for Ukraine and its allies. Far from winding down the war, Russia is intensifying its military preparations, especially when it comes to drones. Central to this effort is a sweeping plan called the Strategy for the Development of Unmanned Aviation until 2035. This is no small ambition. According to this policy, Moscow wants to dramatically boost domestic UAV production to 70%, slashing its dependence on foreign parts, especially from Iran and China. Alongside expanding its drone arsenal to include 250 different types, Russia is also massively scaling up its operator training programs. And we're not just talking hundreds or thousands of drone pilots. Russia plans to train a jaw-dropping 1.19 million UAV specialists by 2030. Yes, you heard that right. That's more than the total number of active Russian troops currently deployed worldwide. To put this into perspective, imagine a drone force larger than some countries' entire armies, operated by millions who are trained, equipped, and ready to deploy these machines across the battlefield. That probably will be the future in a few years. But how serious is Russia about this plan? Very serious. Backed by 546 billion rubles, roughly 6 billion US dollars. This isn't just military modernization. This is a full-scale military industrial revolution. By 2024 alone, more than 8,000 people had completed specialized UAV operation courses. Supported by over 100 engineering teams from 27 companies. And this is only the beginning. Russia has established nearly 5,000 training centers dedicated to UAV operations nationwide. Even prestigious universities like Annapolis University and Bauman Moscow State Technical University are stepping in, building curricula specifically around drone assembly, navigation, and maintenance. If this reminds you of Soviet-era mass mobilization campaigns, you're not wrong. There are striking parallels to Stalin's mass pilot training before World War II, but this time, it's not pilots being trained, it's drone operators. Of course, scaling up this fast comes with its own set of challenges. Recruiting qualified instructors, maintaining the quality of training, and overcoming inefficiencies, especially with Russia's track record of corruption in military procurement, could slow things down. But if Russia succeeds, it will have an army in the sky one that could overwhelm even advanced defense systems. The strategic implications of this are enormous. Drones provide real-time intelligence, execute precision strikes, and, perhaps most importantly, they remove soldiers from direct danger. With a force of well over a million operators, Russia could unleash swarms of drones, 
saturating Ukrainian defenses and overwhelming even NATO-backed systems. The results of these drones are already visible. On April 10, 2025, the Russian Ministry of Defense released footage of FPV drone operators destroying two Ukrainian tanks and two infantry fighting vehicles in a coordinated strike in the krematorsk drushkovka direction. It's not an isolated incident. Reports from the front line suggest that these kinds of drone strikes are becoming almost daily occurrences. What makes this even more concerning is the cost effectiveness. Traditional weapon systems are expensive and complex to deploy, but drones? They're cheaper, faster to build, and require less human risk. This is why, even as Russia talks about peace, it's investing heavily in drone warfare. It's an affordable way to sustain long-term operations. But it's not just Russia adapting. Ukraine and its Western allies are scrambling to keep pace. Ukrainian forces are integrating AI-powered drones into their tactics, while NATO members are rushing to develop advanced counter-drone systems. So, since Russia pulls this off, it's not just about numbers. It's about fundamentally changing how wars are fought. And drones and autonomous systems will soon dominate this field. And here's something to think about. This shift isn't just about Ukraine. It signals a much larger trend. Around the world, military doctrines are evolving to embrace unmanned systems. The rise of autonomous drones could reduce the role of traditional soldiers and commanders, replacing them with operators who fight wars from miles away, controlling squadrons of unmanned vehicles from safe locations. We're heading toward a future where wars may be fought by swarms of AI-guided machines, rather than boots on the ground. And if Russia succeeds in building the world's largest drone force, it could trigger a global drone arms race, one that changes the balance of power far beyond Eastern Europe. So, is Russia truly preparing for peace, or building a new kind of war machine? All the signs point to the latter. The question now is, will the rest of the world be ready when Russia's drone army takes to the skies? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.